Hello, this is Photography Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm reviewing Plunge. The game is available on PC and Nintendo Switch. Plunge is a turn-based roguelike developed by Spooky Buns. So what is the game like to play? Well, the aim of Plunge is to navigate the level, find a key and get to the trapdoor leading to the next level down. The further down you go, the more complex and dangerous the levels become. Plunge is a turn-based game with a difference. Instead of a slow tactical approach, this game adopts a high tempo. Every time you move, the enemies move at the same time, making for some fascinating high-speed chess matches as you try to find your way safely around the level. It's very easy to pick up and play, and it's all about timing your moves correctly to get the upper hand on the enemy. Being a roguelike, it means when you die, it's game over, but some progression is carried over, like starting perks, for example. Normally, I'm not really a fan of the roguelike genre, but with Plunge, it felt like the best fit that I've seen. Each run is so fast paced and over so quickly that you never really feel shortchanged when you die because you'll just get back into it, have another attempt. So, you know, it definitely works in terms of being a roguelike for a change. You'll find potions, you'll obtain power-ups, you learn buffs, and occasionally you'll run into a trader who will give you a perk in a similar way to games, other games like Hades or West of Dead do. On the whole, despite being a roguelike, I really enjoyed it and it felt like the perfect fit for that genre. And if you played games like Hitman Go or Red Ronin, I would say this is one you should definitely check out. Visually, it's a nice mix of black and white with a splash of colour here and there. The art style, it's cool and quirky, nice clean, clear and bold menus. But I would say the game does have a bit of a problem with accessibility. No, no sliders here because every time you move, there's so much screen shake and kind of movement around that it can be a bit disorientating if that stuff bothers you. In terms of sound, I'd say it's solid, suitable effects, suitable music. Nothing that's going to last in the memory, but it does the job. Okay, good and bad points. What's good? Gameplay is fast paced, fun and very easy to get into. It's a roguelike game that actually works. The art style is cool and it's pretty addictive and great for a short session. Bad points? The screen shake will get on your nerves. It takes a while to get challenging and a lot of the levels felt identical. Okay, verdict. Plunge is a high quality turn-based game with a roguelike structure that fits it perfectly. From one fast paced descent to the next, you'll be dashing around in a tactical match against endless foes as you go deeper into the plunge. I really enjoyed it, and as I said before, check out games like Red Ronin and Hitman Go if this sort of thing looks like your cup of tea, because I think you'll like those as well. Would I recommend this? Absolutely. For turn-based fans looking for high octane experiences, this is perfect. Maybe for those who want depth and strategy, perhaps not, but even then, I'd still recommend it for anyone who likes a turn-based game. Scoring, I'd give Plunge, I'd give it an eight out of 10. It's one of the best roguelikes I've played and also nice and fun as well. Okay, that's the review. Thanks for watching. This is Photography Gamer signing off. Cheers.